for this machine component here I go start mechanical design I select part design and then I will keep name of my part to the default click OK we are in the part modeling environment first of all we will create this feature so go to the sketch tool select the sketch plane circle from profile toolbar and select the origin at the center of circle place the circle dimension it diameter is 64 you change the value to 64 zoom it draw one line on horizontal axis Take the trim tool from operation toolbar, trim the unwanted elements. Now still the line is white, that means it is not completely constrained. Let us check. It is not aligned with the horizontal axis. So select the line, select horizontal axis, go to the constraint tool, choose coincidence constraint. Now sketch is green, it is completely constrained. I can exit using exit workbench tool. Now we'll add the material using pad tool from sketch based features. So total depth of material addition is 62. I will add the material on both the sides of sketch plane using mirror extend tool. So 62 divided by 2 on both sides of sketch plane. Now we will create this feature. I will select this as the sketch plane. I will select the sketch tool. Let us check the orientation, normal view. So first of all create the shape using profile tool, tangent arc and close the profile. Now let us take the center of this arc on the vertical axis using coincidence constraint. And I will dimension this circular arc. Radius of the circular arc is 20, so we'll change the value to 20. This is not vertical, so let us apply the constraint of vertical using constraint tool. Now distance of center of this arc from horizontal axis is 51. It is 51. And now I will align this line with the horizontal axis using coincidence constraint. Now there is one hole for that I will draw a circle. This circle is concentric with this one. I will place the dimension for this circle. Diameter of this hole is 16. So we'll change the value to 16. Sketch is green, completely constrained. Exit the workbench. Add the material using pad tool from sketch based features. Reverse the direction of material addition. Then depth of material addition is 12. So I will enter 12. Then I want similar feature on the opposite side. So I will go to the transformation toolbar, select the mirror tool and vertical plane as the mirror plane. Okay. Now next, we will produce this hole having diameter of 6 at the center. I will select this as the sketch plane, sketch tool, circle, coincide center of this circle at the origin using coincidence constraint. Dimension this circle, diameter is 6. Exit the workbench, remove the material using pocket tool up to the last. Okay. Now we will remove this material. Diameter is 38. So this is my sketch plane. I will select the sketch tool. We'll draw the circle. It is concentric with this. So I apply the constraint of concentricity. Dimension that circle. 
its diameter is 38 now we'll project this horizontal edge using project 3d elements tool from operation toolbar and select quick trim option and trim the unwanted elements so my sketch is green it is completely constant i can exit the sketcher now remove the material using pocket tool from sketch based features i want to remove the material throughout so i will select type up to last and ok check the isometric view yes my component is ready 